the same people that have have uh, made the Incredibles. These same people that have made the Incredible, the producer of Incredible, are the producer of Black Panther. Now I'm gonna tell you, Incredible was incredible for children, but this show just show you that our uh, super power exists. But this show right here is showing about sorcery and black magic. My friend, Disney have nothing to do with Africa. And these people have made millions of dollars from you. If you have spent closely four times watching this movie, they are cheering that they got they got you. And I'm telling you, my friend, if you have watched this movie and you keep on going back over and over again, they are duping you over and over again. And you are shaky about your faith. Because if you are a Christian and you have watched this movie and you applaud this movie, I doubt your Holy Ghost. Because, my friend, if you are a Christian, the Bible forbid magic. The Bible forbid sorcery. The Bible forbid necromancy. The Bible say that I suffer not a witch to live. And if you are a Christian and you love and you enjoy and you applaud and you, you went back to the neighborhood and say, come and see a movie that is great, oh, oh, your Holy Ghost was put under the shelf. Your Holy Ghost was put in your pocket. Your Holy Ghost was left at home. Your Holy Ghost, glory to God, didn't prick you. The Bible says, my conscience be a witness of the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Ghost, my friend, is a person. And it's amazing. A lot of people think the Holy Ghost is just a, a active force or a radar beam or, or Mary, the mother of Jesus. So it become a female spirit. So we have God the Father, God the Son, and we have the, the female spirit. No, my friend, there's God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Glory to God it is not a female spirit. So if you have sit down and watch this movie with no conviction, it's time for you to go back to the altar. It's time for you to repent. It's time for you to say, Lord, quicken my spirit. Lord, give me an anointing so I can be aware. The Bible says he give you a way for your escape so you can bear it. We got to have the spirit of Joseph that flee out of for hand when he say come sleep with me so if you are a person my friend I'm, I'm being I'm talking to you now if you're a person that have watched have sit down without conviction of the Black Panther movie you need to go back to the altar because if you're a person that have sat there and watched my friend I'm gonna tell you pause it right there glory to God pause it right there now, I'm going to tell you that how witchcraft was in the Galatian church. Yes, witchcraft was in Galatian church. And Paul have told the Galatian who, oh foolish Galatian, who have bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before who I, Jesus Christ, as crucified, even is set before before crucified among you. This only I learn of you receive the spirit by the work of the law or by the hearing of faith. Are you so foolish? Having begun in the spirit, now you are made perfect in the flesh. So I'm telling you that witchcraft is part of the flesh. What? Witchcraft is part of the what? The flesh. Because witchcraft is nothing but the application of the flesh. Now, listen to what the Bible says in Galatians chapter 5, verse, glory to God, hallelujah. Are you still with me? 
verse number 20. He said, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, sedition, and heresy. So these verse number 19, let's go verse number 19. Now the work of the flesh are manifested. Hey, glory to God. Which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness. Lasciviousness is what? Lusting. Idolatry. You worshiping idols. Witchcraft. Sorcery and spells and portion, my friend. So I'm telling you that anytime you are sitting down into a movie house and you watching them talking to the dead, you watching them drinking portion and transform them, they praising their ancestor is nothing but witchcraft. I didn't say it. the Bible said it. Hey, let me read it again. So, so verse 18 says, but if ye be led by the Spirit, which is the Holy Ghost, ye are not on the law. Now, he said, present now, the work of the flesh are manifest. Manifest means to clear. The work of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery. You get married ten times. Fornication. You're not married, but you're having sex. Uncleanness. Doing things that's without you can't number it. You can't you can explain it. Lasciviousness, greed, lust. You always want more after more after more. You're not satisfied. Adultery. People that, that are worshiping idols. Idolists your mind. And witchcraft, sorcery, hatred. That means you hate somebody. That means you're a murderer. Variance. That means that you are separating people. And emulation, argument, agreement, wrath, anger. The Bible says be anger and sin not. Strife. You fussing and fighting, variance and heresy. You have a, a your new doctrine now. Envying. Now these things are work of the flesh. So witchcraft is of the flesh. And if you sit there into a movie and you watching it and you are plodding witchcraft, you are plodding it. That means that you are being seduced, or you've been seducted into the formality. Of saying witchcraft is all right. My, my friend, I'm telling you, prayer still works. Read the Bible still works. And God, if you are a person and you are doing his will, he will hear you. Now, the reason why God ain't hearing a lot of prayer, because people are not doing his will. Huh? Yes, people are not doing his will, so God is not going to hear your prayer. I'm going to prove it to you. Because a lot of people say, I prayed and God hasn't heard my prayer. You know why? Because you're not doing his will. God only hear people that are doing his will. The Bible say, hey, glory to God. Hey, man, you still with me? Hey, man, it say that in, in St. John, the ninth, ninth chapter, verse 31. Now, we know that God heareth not sinners. But if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will... He heareth. So a lot of people that are praying, and if you are still in the act of sin, and you ain't want to change, God ain't going to hear your prayer. But if you decided to repent, God will hear your prayer. So, so the Bible say, now we know that God heareth not sinners. A sin is a person that keep on indulging in sin. You keep on indulging in witchcraft. You keep on indulging, going to the going to the witch doctor. You going to the psychic hotline. You going to crystal ball reader. You still reading the horoscope about your future. Now God holds our future. Amen. So the Bible say now, and we know that God heareth not sinners. See that person that indulging, committing sin. But if any man be a worshiper of God, hallelujah, worship God means to, to obey him, to serve him, to adore him, not just on Sunday, not just on Easter, the pagan day, not on Christmas, the pagan day, 
Hallelujah. Glory. Not only my ash, putting some ash on your forehead. No. But I'm talking about you a worshiper of God. The woman, the woman at the well, glory to God. Let's go to the woman. The woman at the, at the well, hey, glory, she have a, 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 a insight, but the insight was wrong. Hey, glory to God. Listen, listen to what a woman said at the well. Hey, glory to God. Now, now the woman at the well, glory to God, she have a lot of perspective about people that's in our world. And she say that our father worship in this mountain. And ye say in Jerusalem is a place where men ought to worship. So people might say, I want to worship God at church. But you can worship God anywhere you want to worship God. You can worship God in your car, but make sure you keep your eyes on the road. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. You should worship God at work, but make sure you do things in decency and in order. But Jesus Christ say, Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. My friend, is a lot of people worshiping their cult and not worshiping God. My friend, if you have sit down and watch and enjoy the, the, the Black Panther movie, you've been duped. You've been bamboozled. You've been, been misled. Prayer still works. Hey, glory to God. Marvel don't know nothing about prayer. Disney don't know nothing about prayer. The only thing Disney portray or, 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 or do is homosexuality, lesbianism, and sodomites, and, and sorcery, and witchcraft. All of these things that Marvel does. Marvel production. So Black Panther have nothing to do with Christianity. Because these folks are out to get your money. They're out to get you. They're out to get to be rich, making merchandise off of you. And they've done a good job. They bring it right to the black community. And we are being duped. We are being bamboozled in believing that magic, hallelujah, is a solution to our problem. Prayer is a solution to our problem answer to what God is a solution to our problem. If you pray to God, God will hear your prayer. But if you're not willing to do the will of God, God will not hear your prayer. Your sin will find you out. So I'm saying to say this, the same people that have created the Incredibles is the same people that produce Black Panther. And I'm telling you to say this. Stop giving no people your money. Stop giving no people your applaud. Give your applaud, your praise to the Almighty. Because one day, my friend, you will see the incredibleness of God. When God cracked the sky and the dead in Christ gonna gonna go gonna rise and they that dead in Christ gonna be lifted up and they that remain should be caught up to meet the Lord in the air to meet him and if you are part of witchcraft and sorcery and black magic and voodoo my friend you're gonna be left behind that's why Jesus Christ told them Lord to God mortify your body mortify your flesh my friend put aside Present your body as a living sacrifice only unto God, which is a reasonable service. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by renewing of your mind. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of faith, for the joy that was set before him, endure the cross, despise the shame, and is set right at the right hand of God. We are coupled about with so great a cloud of witnesses, my friend. We have the Bible. We have the word of God. We can go on our knees and request prayer. We don't need to talk to the dead. Let the dead bury the dead. The dead that will have no solution. The Jesus Christ is alive. And Easter does not predict that he's alive. He's alive before Easter. It's only Easter was once in the Bible. That's the book of Acts. Nowhere else Easter is being worshipped or celebrated. And we do it in our churches. Wake up, America. Jesus Christ is on the way back for a church or a spot or a wrinkle.